while he's 77 years old and is about to do something most of us probably never will, run the New York City Marathon for a 45th time in a row. It's pretty amazing. Fox size Michelle Ross introduces us to Mike Rowe and shows us what has inspired him to keep it all these years. Mike Rao of the Bronx holds many admirable titles, from Vietnam veteran to avid sailor and marathon runner. He's what the New York Roadrunners calls a streaker. He's tied at third place for the longest streak finishing the New York City Marathon. In a few weeks, he will have completed 45 in a row. I've had friends say to me, gee, you know, you've run it more than 40 times. I, I guess it gets easy after. I said, no, you, you just get older, and uh, older, you, it's much tougher. The Queens born 77 year old lives on City Island. He gets in four runs a week, plus two days of biking for low impact exercise on his knees for cross training. Here at Pelham Bay Park is where Mike does his training runs once a week. It's also where he finished the 2020 marathon, which was virtual. Virtual that year. With no crowds throughout the 26.2 miles, he says it was probably the toughest marathon he's ever run. As he gets older, his strategy has changed. Having once completed the marathon in under three hours in his youth, he's now incorporated a run walk. When I was in my 30s and 40s, the idea that you'd run any event of any distance and that you might walk, no, I, I wouldn't have done that. Now I've started a little more modest pace and even in the first three or four miles, I'll walk, say, a block or two drink some water, then go back to easy running again. In his free time, Mike announces races for all ages at Ben Cortland Park, but this year will be his last. And depending how his 45th straight marathon goes, this too may or may not be his last time participating on the New York City course. This is a uh, kind of a a time when you assess uh, after the 45th, okay, if, you don't just stop at 46, you know? So if 45 goes well, just maybe I will hang in there for the big 5-0. And if not, then maybe 45 is where it all stops. He hopes his daughter Beth will carry on his legacy as she will be running in her first marathon in Hawaii in December. In Pelham Bay Park, Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News.